There are two things I love in this world. Iced coffee and adorable little pickup trucks. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Sparkplug TV. My name is Chris and I do car reviews for literally everybody, not just car enthusiasts. Before I begin today's video, please don't forget to like this video, comment something down below, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, hit that bell icon so that you get notified whenever I drop a new video, which is whenever I can. Well, technically the most important thing is to subscribe, so please do that. Regardless, shout out to Johnson Hyundai of Cary for sponsoring today's video. Johnson Hyundai of Cary is the number one volume Hyundai dealership in North Carolina, and recently just opened a second location up in Wake Forest. Check the link in the description below. Yes, this is the 2025 slightly refreshed Hyundai Santa Cruz, and it has got some new features, it's got some new trims, and it's got some new colors. Let's talk about it. Hyundai's got a new XRT all-terrain capable trim level that they've been using for their Santa Fe models and other Hyundai models. Now, this is the Canyon Red color in the XRT trim level, and it is a gorgeous red color. More so a burnt orange, but that's okay. I'm not a product planner. Regardless, it still has that crazy front fascia design. It's just a little bit more squared off um, and it's a little bit more cleaned up. And I really like the way that it looks. Now the XRT model is also going to come with some functional features like these tow hooks up here up front and a little bit better of an approach angle so that you can take it off roading. Ooh. Uh, it's also gonna come with some 18 inch wheels and some all terrain tires. But other than that, virtually unchanged except for the front fascia. Unchanged for the 2025 model year is the powertrains. It comes with either a naturally aspirated 2.5 liter four cylinder engine, or this one, which is the 2.5 liter turbocharged inline four cylinder engine that outputs 281 horsepower and 311 pound feet of torque. That's then tied to an eight speed dual clutch automatic transmission. And the turbo has a towing capacity of 5,000 pounds, while the base engine has a towing capacity of 3,500 pounds. You can either get it with a front wheel drive or this one with the all wheel drive drivetrain. Now, it does come with a soft open tailgate and a pull to lock OEM tonneau cover. That's pretty interesting. You can also click it and it will go forward and kind of like a Honda Ridgeline, it also has this little trunk compartment for your groceries or in case it rains, unless the tonneau cover isn't good enough for you. Anyways, let's go inside. The most amount of changes for the Hyundai Santa Cruz are gonna come from the interior itself. It is definitely the most improved, the most upgraded, and it follows the same kind of design language motif that you can find in the Tucson, the new Sonata, the new Santa Fe, etc. That new motif being these two 12 inch informational digital readouts from the gauge cluster to the infotainment system. Now the infotainment system, of course, is gonna come with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And then you're going to have a uh, 360 degree camera, a surround view camera, excuse me. Um, it's got some partially touch, uh, partially physical HVAC system controllers, and it's got the similar stand up gear selector from the outgoing Santa Cruz. It does have a tow mode, it does have some other different drive modes. It's got downhill assist, a center locking differential. It's also got the XRT logo stitched right into the, underneath the headrest on the seats. The seats are pretty comfortable themselves. They're not the most comfortable, but they're pretty comfortable. And then it's got a pretty decent size center console. Now the back seats are pretty decent size. Um, it does have a armrest in the back and it's definitely a more luxurious truck than say compared to the Maverick, but the Maverick is gonna be just a little bit nicer in terms of price points. So that's all I have for today's video. I'm excited to see these out on the roads. I love the way these look. I mean, they're really a great looking car. The running lights are a little funny looking at first, but I actually really like the way that they look. And I like the way that they differentiated the fact that like these are a, li a little bit more square, whereas the Tucson's are a little bit more like bean looking now. They're a little bit more circular uh, for the front daytime running light situation. But yeah, thanks again to Johnson Hyundai for sponsoring today's video and I'll see you guys next time. <gasps> bye. Oh yeah, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Okay, bye. Hey Sparks, thanks for watching today's video. Do you want more Spark Plug TV content? then you can choose one of these three options. Right over here. The middle button is to subscribe to my channel, so please do that. Right over here. These three. I can't see them in real life, but they're right here.